Hi everyone, this is Katie Carney from Katie Carney Stitching, and it is Sunday, the 27th of February, and this is my floss tube number 59. Uh, hi, welcome, I hope that you guys are all well. Um, it's, it's, it's an interesting time to be alive. I feel like I start a lot of these floss tube videos with that. Um, cross stitching is definitely what I do to hide from stress and anxiety and I'm sure a lot of you are feeling the same way I am. Uh, it is dark days. I think a lot of us are um, worried and confused and upset so know that I am also all of those things um, and also using cross stitch as a way to deal with all of that. So anyway, uh, I hope that you are all well, um, staying safe, and, you know, just Thursday morning um, after everything happened, in my time it was Wednesday night, it was Thursday morning in um, the Ukraine, I was texting my brother and I said it feels very strange to know what's happening and also just keep functioning and you know the british world war ii posters that said just keep on keep 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 strong and carry on or keep on carrying on or whatever it was i mean it's true you just have to you know we keep going and we keep praying and you know that's all we can do uh, the nuns on Thursday where I work, they had a beautiful prayer service and they said the rosary all together and it was very moving. Um, so it's uh, nice for me to work in a place where faith is so prevalent um, in any sort of difficult time. So anyway, you're not here to talk about that. Let's talk about a little bit of an update. It's been three weeks. I had planned to record last Sunday. Um, I had really enough to record, but I had reached a point on Lady the Flag that I wanted to finish that section before I showed her to you. And I didn't finish that until Sunday around 6 o'clock or a little after. Um, Mark and I had gone to Philadelphia overnight, which I hadn't been planning to do uh, Friday into Saturday. So I lost all of my Friday night and most of Saturday stitching time. <laughs> so what I was working on took a little longer than planned. But we had a wonderful weekend. We saw two shows. We saw the Trinity Irish Dance Company uh, out of Chicago, and then we saw the orchestra, and they played the score from An American in Paris while we were there uh, with the movie playing, and I love watching Gene Kelly dance, so that was so fun. And then yesterday, Mark drove me and two of my friends to Philly, and we went to dinner, the three of us, and then we went and saw the orchestra play the score from The Princess Bride, which is my friend Tara, my friend Tara's favorite movie. So we watched them play the score for that, and then they played the movie, which was, it was very cool. Um, it's definitely not the best score for an orchestra. Like, it certainly didn't win an Oscar for, you know... <laughs> best score but it was good um next week they are doing fiddler on a roof a fiddler on the roof which i'm so excited about i love that show so um it's funny mark and i were set up by a friend of mine and one of his co-workers and i used to send her and she's um her family descends from ukraine but i used to send her the matchmaker song all the time because <laughs> she understood anyway um so that was that was good. I have been doing a lot of cross stitching, um, less sewing. I had been really working on my quilt, um, and I still am. But when I was working on Lady of the Flag, I kind of became very like regimented, and that was all I was working on. I can't remember. I know I showed you all the wallpaper <clears throat> in my last video. I put it up. My friend Susie came down. It looks great. Um, I have the new duvet on the bed, so like it's slowly coming together, you know, it won't be done until the new year because I have to get floor, the carpet's got holes, <laughs> but Lady of the Flag is getting there and the quilt is moving slowly, so I'm going to have a newly relooked bedroom in the next year. So that's exciting. Uh, anyway, let's talk about cross stitching. I only have one finish. Um, so 
when Fra moved downstairs, I started, sorry, I'm shaking a desk. I moved, she moved downstairs. And so when I got up in the morning, I would make the coffee and I would sit in the living room and I would do my guided reading. And then I would cross stitch until about 630. When she moved downstairs, I started bringing my coffee up here and drinking it in here. And so my large projects, I sit at the desk that's behind me and I work on them there. So they're set up and ready to go whenever I sit down. And because of that, I've been working on my large projects for about 15 or 20 minutes in the morning instead of my small. So my smalls have not been getting as much attention, but that's okay because my goal this year is to really finish or get really good project on the big whips. So whatever. Anyway, um, hang on one second. I'm going to pause you. I didn't have the project bag I needed. So this is... Um, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Halloween Village. I copied Michelle McGraw, made by Michelle McGraw on both YouTube and Instagram. And I am breaking them into small pillows. So I had done the bakery and this middle section and I had the house left to do. And it is riddled with mistakes, but that's okay. Here it is. I've wasted more fabric again. But so there's the little house and it's cute. Um, I didn't notice at the time that this brown here <laughs> is trees from the piece I had already finished, but that's okay. So this is done. Um, in, hang on one second. What Michelle did and what I'm planning to do is she also stitched using the same colors, the Midnight Way. And I am going to do that. So um, it'll be, I'll probably pull like one or two of the colors from here and then use the ones that I already have pulled and just, just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? So that's um, next, but I do not work on these like all, like it's every, I have like a weird order of when I do smalls. So um, here it is again. That's my only finish for this time. Uh, and then that is on a 14 count murky Ada. Um, picture this plus, is that what murky is? Uh, it's Michelle's favorite fabric. So when I was copying her, I just I just went for it and I uh, bought murky for the first time. So that's, that's a finish. And then my plan had been to start at that point um, the February Country Cottage Needleworks calendar sampler. I did January already, uh, but then I decided I didn't have it kitted and I needed a small to work on. So I just pulled out my Glitter Village uh, and I started the next one in that, which this is actually Glitter House number one. So it's this pretty blue house. I am using the called for 32 count opalescent and the DMC conversion. And here's what I have so far. I know it's not a ton. It's just the, the top piece here. And then most of the roof is done at this point and a couple snowflakes. Um, I'm terrible at snowflakes. I always have them like in the wrong place or messed up, but that's okay. So that's that pretty, pretty blue house um, that I'll probably start working on this week. I should probably work on the tree because I'm going to hate the tree, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I work on that for a couple minutes before work in the morning and then usually for 15 or 20 minutes on my lunch. I have not been, we had bad weather one or two days last week, so I did not end up working on it in the morning before work. It was just on lunch, but that's okay. It's just a small, it's just to keep my hands busy. Um, I also did complete a couple more blocks on my quilt. So I finished this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I have eight of these done now. Um, and then I have eight more of the 
strips cut, like eight more blocks worth of strips cut. Um, and I'm going to sew them today, I think, because like I said, I hadn't been working on them because I had been working on Lady the Flag so much. So I need 28 of those. So we're getting there. Um, I, I, it's, I am not a fast sewer. Uh, I don't know how people do quilt tops in a couple days. I could never do that. Um, so we're moving slowly along. I did order backing fabric, um, a, like an Etsy seller who sells quilting fabrics. She was selling her Civil War reproduction fabric was on sale for $4 a yard. And there was a navy with um, just like a very small like calico cream colored flower on it. And I bought 10 yards. <laughs> so I'll use that as the backing fabric. It was only $4 a yard. It was, it was cheaper than I was going to be able to buy anything else. So that should be here this week. And then I got a couple other colors to... Um, use also. Um, I looked online and it said you needed eight yards to do backing for a queen sized quilt, but I figured I would rather have too much than not enough because she was selling it on sale, so I knew it wasn't going to last forever. So that's my quilt. And then since I saw you guys the last time, I did finish the letters on Consider the Lilies. So this is Consider the Lilies by Heartstring Samplery. It's huge. I, in the first year, this pattern is 24 pages long and I did the first 12. This year, I'm breaking it up a little differently because I had some issues with it. So let's see. Um, and I think I'm definitely, well, upside down doesn't do you any good. It's huge. So as you can see, the letters are done. Hang on, I'm gonna stand up. There we go. So the letters are all done. And then for March, I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna fill all this in. So I'm gonna finish this small section above the letters all the way across. I figure that'll probably take me about two weeks. I'll start that on Tuesday, which is the first of the month. So yeah, I think it looks great. The letters fit perfectly, thank God. <laughs> Um, if there's any typos, don't tell me. I don't want to know. So the goal is still to have that done by the end of the year. Hang on, I'm sitting on my pillow. The goal is still to have that done by the end of the year, but maybe a little early. So I'm going to finish all of this this month. And then next month, I'm going to just do this house because it's big. And then... Um, after that, I'll probably just do it in small, you know, monthly pieces. Um, so what this would be like to go down to here, that would be two pages worth, but the border is all already done and this too. Um, but the, tr the house is already done. You know what I mean? Like, so I figure instead of doing like one month for all of these, I'll do two a month. We'll see. Like I said, goal is by the end of the year. If it happens early, great. If not, as long as it's done by the end of the year. Um, and this, I know where this is going. It's going in my office at work. And there's a bookcase that has this big old empty wall over it. And I think it'll look perfect there. So that is my Consider the Lilies. Um, the letters, I really liked the font. She font. Do you call it font when it's cross stitch? I don't know. But, uh, it's really pretty. It's in this dark green color. Um, and it really didn't take long. That So it worked out because it only took a couple days to do that. Like the whole, my, my February goal for Consider the Lilies did not take long at all. And that was good because I had a big goal with Lady the Flag. So Lady the Flag is the stitching, the stitching is done. Um, as you know, oh dear, that's my, my photocopy of the pattern. As you know, I started, well, you might not know, I started this piece in July of 2020 on the 4th of July, and I had a kind of goal to finish it by July of 2021, and that didn't even kind of happen. Um, when I picked it up in February, I had about seven thousand six or seven thousand stitches left um 
And I was like, we're not stopping until we're done. Um, so here she is. This is the pattern. And I was working on this. So like I said, I had about six or 7,000 stitches to do. Um, and you know, it's all counting with Lady of the Flag. Like there's no just fill in um, because the colors change so frequently. But she's beautiful. Ready? I'm gonna stand up again. She's, she's big. There she is. So yeah, she is gorgeous all together. I think you can see her all. There we go. Um, I finished that, like I said, very late Sunday. And what I worked on last time was really all of this. None of that was done. So I figured out that this red, the symbol was very similar to the Krynik symbol, and I was wrong. I started ripping out, I ripped out from like here up the red, and it didn't come out well and was leaving a stain, and I was like, well, I didn't notice until now, so we're just going to leave it. Um, because America flag should never be upside down. Because um, for a little while it was the red and it just changed and I didn't notice and that's okay. So yeah, beautiful. Oh gosh, she's gorgeous. I did do the not Krynik, the DMC Krynik at the bottom that I consider much easier to work with. So technically that last section I did, other than the beads and the back stitch, is done. But I do have to do the Krynik for the rest of her. So my plan is, once Consider the Lilies is done for March, is I'm going to put this on a... It needs to go on a scroll frame, obviously. Um, and just work my way up from the bottom so that by the time I get to her face, I'm a little more practiced because her face is... <sighs> It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, so there's a lot of, there's, I obviously have to do all the more crinic down here still. And then this is all beads. So the beads all have to be added in. There's some back stitching that needs done. So I'm going to start at the bottom and just slowly work my way up to the top. Um, obviously the light is really all, the light at her at the top there that is all beads the entire thing so um like i said i'm going to work on consider the lilies finish that section that i showed you and then i am going to put lady the flag on the scroll rod and work on it until it's done i was tempted to not do consider the lilies at the beginning of the month and just go to lady the flag and i was like no she and i need a break <laughs> um but then when she's done, she's going to Hobby Lobby to get framed. So, yay. Um, and I did say on Instagram, and I'll say it here, I am selling the pattern. Um, for what I paid for it, which was a lot of money. I'm, I am looking to make my money back. Um, so, just so you know, I'm not going to put it on eBay. Um initially unless I have to because obviously if somebody wants to just PayPal me the money and I'll put it in a certified envelope and get it to them. So that was my, th that took a full two weeks and then my next, so I have like in my head, I have like goals for the year and my next goal is to finish. So when Lady of the Flag is done. I wanted to do, finish something f big but fairly small so it wasn't like a six months till it was done thing. So I'm gonna, I will be working on with Consider the Lilies Frogwarts year one band sampler. So I decided that since I had about a week left in February, I would pick it up now because I needed a break from Lady of the Flag. And I also knew that when I put her on the scroll frame, I just wanted to work on it till it was done. 
So, um, this is the Frogwarts Year One Band Sampler. I am using the DMC, except for like one or two of the fancy flosses that I have. Um, so, they list here, do they list it in this one? So they list here how many stitches you need, how much thread you need for these. And like, no, they. I guess they don't. I thought they did. But like, there's a lot of colors in this, and there's even more in the second one. I personally do not think it's worth it to get the overdyed at all. Use the DMC, because there's a lot of shading that they do with many colors. Um, it's a beautiful pattern. Obviously, it's based on the first editions that I had of the books. So I really like it. I do not like the pattern. <laughs> so the chart is in color uh, and the symbols are in, so the symbols are in, are in black and white down here, but on the chart they're in color and they're very difficult to read and several things in mine are the wrong colors. <laughs> because I just couldn't figure it out. Um, and I was like, well, I guess that's fine. And then I finally figured it out and it was too late. So great, beautiful, not well. I personally do not like how they're printed. And they're it's small. So like you can see that it's small. <laughs> and I have perfect vision. Like I don't use magnifiers. I don't need light. Like I have good vision and I am, it's very difficult for me to read. And once I picked it back up, I remembered that I had had that problem at the beginning with trying to figure out the symbols. Um, there's not really anything I can do about it, but just so you know, if you've purchased the first year and if you get the subsequent years, that it is difficult to read. Um, I guess they do offer it for Pattern Keeper, but I don't use that. I like a paper pattern, and I printed my PDF off, and it's still difficult to read the chart, in my opinion, but what do I know? Anyway, um, so when I worked on this, I started it in the very end of June of 2021, the day before Fra and I left on vacation. So all I got done in that night, not all, I got the letters done and the first jelly bean. For the jelly beans, I am using, uh, what is the color? I am using, it came in the box, so it's called Color and Cotton Tutti Fruity. This is their Birdie Bots Every Flavor Bean Colorways. And I'm just using that for, I, had, I, would, I was never ever gonna use this. So I figured it was perfect for jelly beans. So I've got, the letters were already done in the first jelly bean. I did Hedwig, who's really blown out. Um, and Hedwig is a little purple, cause again, couldn't read the chart. <laughs> this is Hagrid's umbrella. And then this is a potions bottle that says fame on it. I just haven't done the back stitching. So my goal for today and tomorrow, because I'll work on this today and tomorrow and then put it away, is to get the umbrella done. And then I'm probably going to start the um, border at the bottom just for something to easy, fairly easy to work on. If I were to have finished the first page, I would have gotten to the hat, but I'm not. It's already 1130 on Sunday. That's not happening. <laughs> So I'm going to work on the bottom and then I'm going to wait to do the, this is over one or backstitched. I'll probably do it. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, I will wait until the very end for that. So yeah, I love this. Here it is. I am doing mine um, on 36 count parchment, which is what they recommended if you were going to put it all together. Um, and after I bought the fabric, I decided I was going to turn mine into drums because I didn't, I was like, that is a weird thing. I am, I'm too old to have that all together on my wall. Um, so I am going to cut them and I probably won't have enough fabric for all the drums. Like the last one might have to be a different color, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Beautiful. So those are all of my whips. 
Um, I do my other, my next small that I'm going to work on, um, next in line will be February's, um, sampler of the month. I will start that when the glitter house is done. Um, March is already done. I did March in 2021. So I do have some, I'm not behind yet technically. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, I do have some haul. So I was at Hobby Lobby two weeks ago, and this Dimensions Gold kit, I, I don't, I don't, it's a petite one. It was only, it was on, it was like 40% off, but it says my favorite Christmas word down the bottom, so I decided to get it, <clears throat> which is insane because I know how Dimensions kits are with the shading and the back stitching, but I, I just, I love this Santa, so hopefully someday I'll do this. And then... Jen sent me, I was supposed to see her at the retreat she went to. I was going to meet her down there and then I couldn't go. So she had put some stuff together to give me and then she mailed it because she's wonderful. And so she sent me um, many, most things I'm not showing you. There's so much. But she sent me this lovely little knitting book. Um, she, I She found this. I, I PayPal'd her for this very expensive uh, $4 pattern. But this is Fall Friends. I am so excited. So this is the one with the Native Americans. Um, I don't have the pilgrims, but someday I will get them. But I, I can at least get started. So I got the turkey and the two Native Americans. And then she sent me this really cute um, blackbird, Halloween Eve. Uh, I don't know when this came out. 2011, so that's very cute. And then she she had started this owl forest pattern and lost it. So then she ordered another one and then she found it. So she sent me her spare. So thank you very much. And then what else did I get? I Country Magic Stitch, luckily before the war started, uh, came out with her new Harry Potter. Um, this one's Diagon Alley. Uh, she's been working on this forever. I've been waiting for her to put... She sent me a sneak peek of this like a year and a half ago and she finally finished it. So I um, like I bought it within 10 minutes. And I did go to Joann's during their President's Day sale and I got all the floss for it. So I'm ready to go. Not that I'll be starting it anytime soon, but I'm ready. Um, and again, really glad I got it before I'm not allowed to buy from Russia. Woohoo! Also, same for same for this because I'm pretty sure this. I'm pretty sure we can't buy these things right now. So, um, so yeah, uh, it was a little bit of haul. Uh, it was a. It's been a good couple of days, and like I said, I got a lot of stitching done, and I'm hoping to get a lot more done tonight. Um, I hope I hope that you guys are getting stitching done, and that the this time in the world isn't keeping you from stitching, although I would certainly understand if it was. I know for me, I put my phone like 20 feet away from me so that I'm not like the constantly scrolling the news and social media and just seeing what's going on. Um, I do have to stop at some point, so it's definitely been helping me. So anyway, I hope that you guys stay safe and have a wonderful couple weeks. I cannot wait to check in with you again and um, I'll probably have some progress on Lady of the Flag then. Uh, so anyway, stay safe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.